All right, so welcome everyone to a deep dive on Sasuke Uchiha's powers. Kikai Genkai. Yeah, his KK Genkai. You know, those crazy genetic abilities. Yeah, exactly. Those crazy <laughs> genetic abilities that make uh, some ninja clans so powerful in Naruto. Exactly. Um, we've got a ton of great sources for this one, detailed explanations, uh, some really cool video summaries. Yeah, we do. And we're going to unpack how these powers actually shape Sasuke's journey. You know, it's really not just about like what his powers are, but how they actually uh, reflect his struggles mm -hmm. and drive his actions throughout the entire series. Yeah, and that's a that's a great point. Uh, let's jump in with the sharing in, I think. Yeah, let's do it. This is like the uh, one that makes him in Uchiha. Right. And like the first one, we actually see him awaken. Yeah. And you want to know something crazy? What's that? It happens during the Uchiha clan massacre. Oh, yeah. Talk about a traumatic first experience. I mean, talk about a way to awaken a power. Uh, what's so fascinating, though, is that, like, the trauma was so intense, he actually blocked out the memory of the awakening. Wow. So he's carrying this, like, incredible power, but doesn't even know it. Doesn't even know it. Until later in the Land of Waves arc, when it reemerges. Yeah, and at that point, yeah. he's only got like one or two to make, you know, yeah. those those comma shapes in his eyes that show us, you know, and all the other characters too that like yeah. his powers are growing. Right, and I think that's what makes it so cool. Like we get to see his sharing in evolve mm -hmm. alongside him as a character. Exactly, exactly. And by the Chunin Exams arc, he's got two Tomos in each eye. Oh yeah, he has a much greater understanding of how to actually use it. Mm -hmm. He's able to see chakra flow predict movements, even copy other ninja techniques. Oh, like Rock Lee's Taijutsu? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sasuke copies those moves with his Sharingan. But the Sharingan's not the end, right? No, oh, not even close. It evolves into something even more powerful, yeah. even more tied to, like, all this emotional turmoil. Right. The Mangekyo Sharingan. The Mangekyo Sharingan. And that evolution is triggered by, like, intense emotional trauma. Oh, man. For Sasuke, it's the revelation of the truth about Itachi. Heavy stuff. That pain, that guilt, that's what unlocks the Mangekyo Sharingan for him. What can he even DO with the Mangekyo Sharingan? I mean, he gets access to some seriously devastating techniques. Like what? Amaterasu. Okay. Those black flames that will never go out. Yeah. And then Tsukuyomi, mm -hmm. a Jinjutsu that traps opponents in an illusionary world designed to break them. Whoa. It's said to cause excruciating pain and psychological damage. I mean, those black flames are iconic though, right? Oh, for sure. Like, you know, things are about to get real when Sasuke starts using those. Oh, yeah. But this power comes at a cost, doesn't it? It does. It does. Every time he uses these powerful techniques, his eyesight deteriorates. Oh, no. And that's, like, what adds another layer of tension to it all. Right. Like, how far is he willing to go? How much is he willing to sacrifice for this power? And, and our sources mention that he does find a way around that. Like he does that drawback. Yeah. With the eternal Manjekyo sharing. In. Eternal Manjekyo sharing. In. So what's the story there? This is where his bond with Itachi becomes absolutely critical. Okay. He receives Itachi's eyes in a transplant. Whoa. And it's not just a physical act. It's like deeply symbolic of their connection. Even in death. Even in death. So he's literally taking on his brother's power. Yeah. That's a pretty powerful image. It is. Uh, what does this eternal Manjekyo Sherigan actually do for him? It removes the drawback of blindness. Oh, wow. He can use Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi freely. So no more, like, worrying about losing his vision. Exactly, exactly. So, like, ultimate power at this point, right? It seems like it. It definitely seems like it. Like, what else could there possibly be? Well, you know, in the world of Naruto, there's always another level. Oh, boy. And in Sasuke's case, it's the Rinnegan. The Rinnegan. This mm. is even rarer than the Mangekyo Sharingan and is often associated with, like, godlike power. Wait, there's something beyond the Mangekyo Sharingan. There is. Okay, so how does he get this Rinnegan? He awakens the Rinnegan in his left eye after receiving half of the Sage of Six Paths chakra. The Sage of Six Paths. Yeah, now the Sage of Six Paths is basically the ancestor of all ninja. Oh. We're talking, like, a legendary figure here. So he gets a power up from, like... The OG ninja. The original ninja. Yeah. What kind of crazy new abilities does he get with the Renegade? It's a huge power boost. Okay. Enhance speed, strength. Mm -hmm. And then you add on the six paths techniques, basically a whole new arsenal of powerful abilities. God. He can summon creatures. Wow. Manipulate gravity, mm -hmm. absorb chakra, even rip out people's souls. Rip out people's souls. He went from copying techniques to like 
potentially stealing souls. It's it's pretty intense. The big jump. It is. And all of this comes from his Keke Genkai. It's, it's a lot to take in, and it's just scratching the surface. It is. We'll be back to delve deeper into like the significance of each power and how it impacts Sasuke and his relationships with others after a quick break. You know, Sasuke's journey is fascinating because his powers are like so deeply intertwined with his emotional state. Yeah. It's almost like each evolution is a reflection of his inner turmoil, you know? You're right. It's like it's like his powers are a visual representation of his pain. Right. And that constant drive to to get stronger. Yeah. Like the sharing is is linked to his uh, his desire for revenge. Yeah. Uh, the Mengekyo sharing into the trauma of learning the truth about Itachi. Right. And then uh, the Rinnegan appears after a near-death experience and yeah. meeting the Sage of Six Paths. Exactly. It's it's crazy. And a lot. Yeah, and it's not just about Sasuke as an individual, right? Right. Like, these powers also have a huge impact on his relationships, mm -hmm. especially with Naruto. Especially with Naruto. I mean, their rivalry is legendary. It's iconic. Like, they're, they're two sides of the same coin, always pushing each other further. Always. Um, but, like, how do Sasuke's Kekai Genkai actually fit into that? Well, their powers kind of mirror each other. Okay. You know, Naruto's connection to the Nine-Tailed Fox gives him incredible chakra reserves and some uh, unique abilities. Right. Sasuke's Sharingan and its evolutions give him uh, incredible visual prowess and those like devastating jujitsu. Yeah. They're constantly trying to surpass one another, which fuels a lot of the conflict in the series. Yeah, it's like a constant back and forth, each of them right. trying to prove they're, they're stronger. Right. And as their powers grow, mm -hmm. the stakes get higher and higher. But it's more than just like, who's stronger? Right. Their powers also represent completely different philosophies. Okay. Naruto wants to use his power to like protect people, mm -hmm. to create peace. Yeah. Sasuke, on the other hand, he's fueled by vengeance. Yeah. And a desire for power, even if it means pushing away the people who care about him. So it's like their powers are symbols of their conflicting ideologies. Oh, exactly. They might look similar on the surface. Yeah. yeah. But they they lead them down mm -hmm. very different paths. Very different paths. It's it's fascinating how how the story kind of weaves those ideas together. It is. And and let's not forget about Sakura. Oh, yeah. Her relationship with Sasuke is also deeply affected by, like, his powers oh, yeah. and the choices that he makes hmm. because of them. Yeah. Like, she obviously cares about him a lot, but his obsession with vengeance mm -hmm. and power puts him at odds with her values. Right. Creates this complex and sometimes heartbreaking dynamic between them it's it's that classic love triangle it is but like with a naruto twist yeah you have sakura who represents love and compassion mm -hmm. stuck between naruto who is unwavering in his loyalty yeah and sasuke who seems to be drawn to darkness it's the darkness associated with that mangekyo sharing and especially that yeah. creates like a barrier between sasuke and the <sighs> people who love him right they can see the good in him yeah but he's so fixated on power that it threatens to, like, consume him. It's like he's constantly battling with himself. That yeah. internal struggle between, you know, the light and the darkness. Right. The desire for connection yeah. and the thirst for revenge. And his Kekai Genkai are a part of that struggle at every step. Yeah. They give him this incredible power, but they also isolate him, pushing him further away from the light. It's almost like... The stronger he gets, the more he loses sight of the things that truly matter. Which brings us to, like, a really important question. Okay. Did Sasuke's pursuit of all this power ultimately bring him peace? Mm hmm Or did it just lead him further down a path of darkness? I mean, that's the question that kind of hangs over the entire series, isn't it? It is. And then that's something that we see him grappling with constantly. Yeah, his journey really makes you think about like the nature of power, mm. is it inherently corrupting? Right. Can it be used for good or does it always lead to darkness? That's, I mean, those are some pretty deep themes for a show that's sensibly about ninjas. I know, right. But, but that's part of what makes Naruto so compelling. Right? Yeah. It's not just about the the cool fights and the flash of jujitsu. Right. It's about like exploring the human experience. Yeah. The choices we make mm -hmm. and the consequences that follow. Exactly. Even in a world with like, fantastical powers and epic battles. Yeah. It's the human elements that resonate most with viewers. Yeah. It's those internal struggles, the complexities right. of relationships. It's it's that emotional core that keeps people coming back to the story. 
even after all these years. For sure. So we've we've covered a lot of ground here. We have. We talked about uh, the mechanics of each Kekai Genkai. Right. But also like the, the deeper implications of, of Sasuke's quest for power. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been quite a journey. It has. Uh, what what are the, the key takeaways here? I would say that Sasuke's Kekai Genkai are much more than just cool abilities. Yeah. They provide a window into his soul. Mm -hmm. Reflect his internal struggles and drive the complex relationships he has with other characters. Right. Understanding his powers is key to understanding his journey and his importance to the world of Naruto. You know, going through this deep dive, like I, I feel like I have a much deeper understanding of Sasuke as a character. Yeah. It's so easy to get caught up in like the action and the spectacle, but yeah. there's so much depth to explore beneath the surface. Sometimes it takes breaking down the individual elements to fully appreciate a story as complex and layered as Naruto. Yeah. We've only scratched the surface, though. There's yeah. so much more to uncover. We've laid a great foundation for for understanding Sasuke's powers and how yeah. they shape his journey. For sure. But we've only focused on, like, his visual powers, mm -hmm. the Sharingan and the Rinnegan. No. What about, what about his other skills? Like, yeah. he's known for his incredible speed, uh -huh. uh, his swordsmanship, his lightning-style jujitsu. Mm. How do these talents add to his overall strength, and how do they complement his Keke Genkai? That's something to think about. That's something to think about. We'll be back with some final thoughts after a quick break. We've spent uh, this whole deep dive exploring Sasuke's visual powers, you know. Yeah. Sharing in the Rinnegan. But you're right. He's he's so much more than that. He is. Like his speed, is, yeah. swordsmanship, lightning style, Shichutsu, those are all key parts. Right. What makes him such a formidable ninja. <sighs> It's like we've been looking at this like incredible tapestry, mm -hmm. but focusing on just a couple of specific threads. Yeah. And now we're stepping back to appreciate the whole picture. Right, right. You know, his Keke Genkai are a major part of his power, mm -hmm. but those other skills are like woven in, right. adding complexity, adding depth. It, it makes you wonder how those other skills actually developed alongside his visual powers. Yeah. Did they enhance each other? Right. Did his sharing its ability to like analyze movement, help him master swordsmanship. It's it's fascinating to think about. There's so much to think about. Absolutely, and and that's what makes this deep dive so rewarding. Mm. You know, it's not just about learning the, the facts of it all. It's about sparking those what if questions. Right. And inspiring like further exploration. So let's bring it all home. Yeah. We covered the Sharingan, mm -hmm. Manjekyo Sharingan, yep. eternal Manjekyo Sharingan, mm -hmm. and the Rinnegan. It's it's a lot. Sasuke's got quite the collection. He does. He does. And and each one represents like a significant step in his evolution, mm -hmm. both as a ninja and and as a person. Right. It's like each each power up is a turning point in his story. Yeah. You know, forcing him to confront his own inner demons yeah. and make these like really difficult choices. And that's what makes his journey so compelling. Yeah. You know, we, we see him grapple with the the allure of power and the the potential for it to corrupt. Yeah. It's that constant tension between wanting strength mm -hmm. but fearing the the darkness it might bring. His story reminds us that power is a double-edged sword. Yeah. You know, it can be used to protect, to destroy, to heal, to wound. Right. Ultimately, the choices we make determine which edge we wield. And and we see that playing out throughout the series as Saxi struggles with his his desire for vengeance yeah. and his his need for connection, mm -hmm. his powers become both a source of strength right. and a source of isolation. Exactly. It's it's like the more power he gains, mm -hmm. the more he has to fight to stay connected right. to the people who care about him. Yeah. It's, it's a constant battle and one that resonates with a lot of us, mm -hmm. even if we're not, you know, wielding these magical eye techniques. It, it makes you think if Sasek had chosen a different path. Yeah. One less focused on power and vengeance. Right. Would he have been happier? Mm -hmm. Would he have been able to build stronger relationships? It's a question with no easy answer. And and that's what makes it so thought provoking. It really challenges us to think about our own relationship with power, mm -hmm. even in everyday life. Right. Do we use our strengths to to build others up? Yeah. Or to tear them down? Do we seek connection? Mm. Or do we isolate ourselves in the pursuit of our goals? Those are some heavy questions. They are. But that's that's the beauty of a deep dive like this. Yeah. It takes something uh, 
something familiar, yeah. like Sasuke's powers, and it it helps us see them in a whole new light, mm -hmm. revealing the deeper themes and questions they represent. And it reminds us that even in a fictional world like Naruto, yeah. there are lessons to be learned about the human experience, mm -hmm. about the choices we make, the paths we forge. So for anyone listening, yeah, if you want to understand Sasuke Uchiha, you can't just look at his powers in isolation. Right. You have to see them as as part of a larger picture. His struggles, hmm. his relationships, his choices. They're all interconnected. They're all interconnected. Mm. And remember, true strength isn't just about how much power you have. Mm -hmm. It's about how you use that power and the impact it has on yourself yeah. and, and the world around you. Well said. Thank you. And on that note, yeah. we'll wrap up this deep dive into Sasuke Uchiha's Kekai Genka. That has been a journey. We hope you've uh, enjoyed exploring the complexities of his powers mm. and the many layers of his character. Absolutely. Until next time, keep diving deep and keep asking those thought-provoking questions. Yes. There's always more to discover. Always.